All right, episode number five from this series on evolution number two. This one's going to be one of our shortest episodes because we're only going to cover two slides. Now, even though this is a short episode, the concepts we're going to talk about here, they're important, so make sure you pay attention because I can guarantee there's going to be some test or quiz questions that deal with these concepts. All right, so let's say we have a very small population. Say, for example, less than 100 individuals, maybe as low as 50, all right? Their gene pool is not very big. So for a particular single gene trait, if you have 100 individuals, that's only 200 alleles. And if you only have 50 individuals in this population, then that's only 100 alleles. So because the gene pool is small, there can be some random events that can affect the allele frequency. And of course, any change in allele frequency is called evolution. Well, the first one we want to talk about is um, genetic drift and genetic drift is just a random change in allele frequency has nothing to do with natural selection there's just a change in allele frequency and we got a perfect example in this picture right here here we've got a population of beetles and there's three six nine beetles and you're going to notice that three of them are green six of them are brown so there must be some form of evolutionary pressure that helps the brown ones out and maybe not so much the greens, okay? Or maybe it's they're in the middle of a change. Now the green has an evolutionary advantage and the brown will become less. Well, this is a small population. We only have nine. Well, they happen to all be next to each other. Somebody steps on these bugs. Two of the green ones are dead. Now, was this gentleman here that you see on the screen, was he actively looking to step on green bugs? No, he's probably walking on a sidewalk. He's texting, you know, maybe he's on Facebook or he's tweeting and he just steps on the bugs. He doesn't even notice that he steps on the bugs. Well, to the bug population, this is a big deal. There's only nine individuals. So now if we look right here, we've totally changed the allele frequency. For example, the, the green allele, I'll just write that over here. Whoops, let me spell green correctly. There we go. The green allele has decreased in frequency, and the brown allele has increased in frequency. So we have evolution. We have a change in allele frequency. Was it caused by natural selection? No. It's just some random event. <clears throat> now, the fact that we have very few green alleles, you know, this one has decreased so much, this is also an, an example of what is called the bottleneck effect. The bottleneck effect happens after some very drastic event. In this case, just out of random, almost a third of the population died. Okay, So this could happen on a hurricane, an earthquake, uh, a very bad snowfall or something like that, where a huge portion of the population dies, and the gene pool has kind of been just shoved into a small little portion. That's the bottleneck effect. All right, now, related to this is the founder effect. And this is a change in allele frequencies that occurs as a result of migration. So in other words, part of the population has moved to a new location, but that part of the population that left may not represent the gene pool as a whole. So for example, what we have here, and I'm gonna, I couldn't find a picture that had better colors than this, so I'm going to color these in. So these dark gray ones are actually the red. So we have 20 pink, that's the light colored ones, and then obviously the one that I'm coloring in here, these are the red. So two thirds of the population is pink, one third of the population is red. So these four individuals decide, I'm not gonna live here anymore. I'm gonna move to a new place, all right? So they moved to this new island, and it was three pinks, and one, or I'm sorry, three reds and one pink. So now the gene pool at this new location is completely different than the original population. And so that's called the founder effect. We have a change in allele frequency, and what can happen here is that this population may continue to be more red than pink. It really depends on the environment. But we have an initial change in allele frequency, and that's called the founder effect. So let's review. 
Okay, in small populations, you can have what is called genetic drift. And this is just a random change that's just due, due to some random event. And genetic drift can also often lead to the bottleneck effect where we have just basically the, the gene pool has been pushed and whoever gets out first, they set the stage for the next generation. So the bottleneck effect is almost the same as our second thing that we can see in just kind of a random event, which is the founder effect, where we have some individuals move to a new location. They may not represent the average of the original population, but they set the new foundation or the new allele frequencies. Okay, so make sure you know the difference between genetic drift the bottleneck effect, and the founder effect. You're going to find those on your crossword. They're also going to be in your study guide vocab list, and I bet you they're going to be on a test or a quiz. So until our next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.